Hey, it's Stan in Big White Letters, and we're here with another wedding tutorial. Today, we're talking about boutonnieres. <laughs> no, really? Boutonnieres. So we are going to go over to Sunny's at Miller's Flowers, figure out the best way to do this. Hey! Hey, guess what? We're at Miller's Flower Shop in Muncie, and we're going to be meeting with Sunny back there. She's going to demonstrate how to pin on boutonnieres somewhere. Which side? All right, here we go. Okay, we're back with Sunny. She is going to show us stuff about... <laughs> Corsages? And corsages, yes. Corsage, okay, let's check them out. Let's see what we got on the table. And, well, actually, show us what these are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, we was gonna start with just the simple boutonniere and an easy way to pin them on one. Perfect. If that's okay. Okay, all right, we're gonna pin me and my new jacket. All right, so take On your take left a, side. On the left. Always on the left. Left. Okay, okay so hold okay. on, I'm gonna put the camera up so you can get a better okay. view. All right. all right, here we go. We're demonstrating usually using Stan on how to put your boutonnieres on, the easy way. It's usually always on the left. An easy way to do this is just put your hand under here. You can actually squeeze that together. You can go in, through, and back in. It's that simple. Wow. And how high does it go? Where the height? Like the top of the flower to yeah, the Yeah, right about to the collar right there. Yeah, because you can see if you put it down too far, or you can put it up too far. So right there, so your flower touches that top of that little seam right there. And again, squeeze it together. Go in, through, and back in. It's that simple. And when we have little kids at weddings, we got to handle them a little bit different. Okay, so we're gonna, she's going to show us what we're going to do for little kids. Here is something that you can do. Sometimes you have little ring bearers and just little guys and you're really worried about that, that pin, which is a good concern. Just a little safety pin will work just as well. So put it on his little jacket, pinch it like I showed you before. Pin it right through there. Safety pin. And there you have a nice clean little boutonniere without any harm coming to the child. Good job, Steve. And we have sometimes moms do wrist corsages. We're gonna check those out. Okay, Stan. One of the problems that I've heard doing flowers for a lot of times is wrist corsages don't always stay on there evenly. Um, most florists double check, but just in case they haven't did that, here's what can happen. They put it on and it just kind of flops around. Now there's nothing pretty about a flopping around wrist corsage, correct? So here's a simple solution, an emergency. Most of the time you can find a rubber band at a church or maybe it's a prom, so even if you have a rubber band at home. You actually can put your rubber band on first, put your wrist corsage back on, And all you want to do is put your rubber band over your top flower. You really don't see a rubber band, but look how nice it looks like that. No flopping around. That's a quick, simple fix for the flopping wrist corsage. Okay. Okay. Next, Dan, we're going to take the same corsage and we're going to pretend that it was for one of your greeters and she shows up with a sleeveless dress. So there's no way to pin it on her if she has no sleeve. So a simple thing that you could do is take two rubber bands with the same corsage, put both your rubber bands on your wrist. All you're gonna do is tuck the bottom in first. Can you see that okay? and put the rubber band around your top flower. Gently. And you have an automatic wrist corsage 
that wasn't planned for. So there you have it. Next we're going to demonstrate and we're going to use Stan's grandma on this one. Come on over Stan's grandma. Now sometimes in weddings the girls' dresses are pretty sheer material and it's very hard to get a pin in and out and to hold up there. One thing the florist can offer you is the little simple magnets. They're very simple, very quick fix. And this is how easy it is. You have the bottom. <laughs> There's a flyer on the Stay with Grandma. There's the magnet on the back. Put the magnet under the material. And voila. On sheer material, that will stay on very well. All right, we're going to get a better look at that, that magnet. What is it? <gasps> One more thing. Okay. If the florist did not have the magnet and you're really worried about the thin material in your pen and, and sticking you, um, one thing you can do is when you're pinning your corsage on, to keep your pen from sticking in your skin, you can actually just get a little piece of paper towel and wad it up and then stick that paper towel right on the end of your pen. And that will help give you a little more protection so the pen doesn't stick your skin. And there you go. Sunny, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, a special thanks to Sunny for showing us boutonnieres and corsages, how to do it right. So remember, Miller's Flowers and Muncie is, is helping us out. Bye.